DTI5 is live, breaking down trades in five minutes or less. Alan Sislowski host, Scott and Shane, your resident experts. Guys, Josh Jacobs, I don't care if you hate running backs, he's earned himself a two-year shelf life. In this trade we have right here, 12-team Superflex PPR 1.75 tight end premium, Jordan Addison or Josh Jacobs, Scott Connor. It's an interesting one because I do think that Jordan Addison is a guy that has a lot of ADV, artificial dynasty value. He is young and that's about it. He's okay but he's young and he was a rookie. So it means he's just going to get better every year after year after year until all of a sudden he's elite. But the reality is he probably is what he is. Should have never been like wide receiver 10 or 12 or whatever he got up to. He never really traded for that value. So if you just put him as kind of like a late first round pick value right now, it's probably a fair price for Jacobs. This is roster construction dependent for me. If I need a running back, if I want to place one into a certain spot, because I don't have any good ones, this is probably what you have to pay. I would rather pay a receiver like Addison than give up a future first because it's more flexible to keep the first. Now, in a vacuum, if I have too many guys like Jacobs, Mixon, Kamara, Aaron Jones, let's say I have four of those guys, I would accept taking something back like Addison. So I think it's a fair trade, roster construction dependent. You may not be able to ever get more than this for a running back. So I'd be willing just to cash out. And I know Shane's takes on running backs, but I'm curious if he's anywhere different than me. Shane, if uh, Minnesota Vikings draft uh, J.J. McCarthy, does that change anything for you here? Let's assume that for context. I am assuming that Sam Darnold is not going to be the starter come hell or high water next year because no one in uh, wants to be taken serious can let that happen. And I don't think the Minnesota staff wants to get fired after they go 0-18. And, and there's only 17 games. I don't even know how they go 0-18. Maybe they get a toilet bowl and they lose in that. I am going to go ahead and take Jordan Addison. My distaste for running backs is well, well known. I think I could get a cheaper running back, much cheaper running back. They can give me comparable production to Josh Jacobs. Do I think Jordan Jordan Addison is going to be elite one day. I I don't, but I think he's good enough and he can put up a good enough season that I could move him for more than I could ever move Josh Jacobs for again in the future. Unless Josh Jacobs, wait, now there's nothing Josh Jacobs can do to increase in value. It doesn't matter, right? He's at that age of a running back where even if he ran for 2000 yards and a thousand yards receiving, I think he'd be the first one to do that. And it'd be a record. People still wouldn't trade for him. Scott, don't you think Josh Jacobs saw a bump in value with his team change? I don't think he sees a bump in value. Depends on how you define it. I think he sees a bump in demand. People now want him. But I, I think generally the, the average dynasty manager is smarter today than they may have been years past. So I don't think it's I can trade Josh Jacobs for more. It's now that I can actually get a legitimate first round receiver that had a decent rookie year or a future first round pick or something comparable in a trade for a veteran running back. And it takes the contract, the landing spot, all that stuff to kind of go together. And then it has to be the right league with the right manager that's seeking out that kind of asset just for you to get a decent wide receiver. That's probably a top 20 to 30 receiver, but really nothing more. So if you think about that, this should be a lesson learned going forward, Shane, that when you have these honeypot landing spots for running backs and you have this narrow window where everyone's interested now in Josh Jakes again, and maybe Saquon Barkley again, and maybe Tony Pollard or DeAndre Swift, like, Make your bets, but isn't this a good process to kind of always move off of somebody like Jacobs when you're getting first round value? Because even if you don't like Addison, you could probably flip him for Zay Flowers, or you can flip him in a deal for JSN, or you can get a future first. Like he's more flexible to the majority of your league. Shane, we got another good one here. 10 teamer this time, super flex, 1.5 tight end premium, Evan Ingram and the 208 or Josh Jacobs. Yeah, Bob, I'm going to go ahead and take Josh Jacobs here. I like Evan Ingram. That tight end premium isn't a real tight end premium. It's a fake tight end premium. Evan Ingram's fine. I mean, whatever. He's replaceable. 208 and start 10. Scott, what's that really? The 206 in real life? Like in a 12-team league? Is that how that works out? Is that the math? You know, it's a little closer now that I think about it when I think of it that way. But only 10 teams. I'm going to take Josh Jacobs. I'm going to take Josh Jacobs. It's a 10-team start 10, so equivalent 12-team start 8. This is an extremely shallow league. I'm not getting a positional advantage with Evan Ingram. I'm getting a good tight end, but I'm not getting a positional advantage. The 208 is outside of kind of the threshold that I would care about. This just isn't the type of deal I would want. I Again, I would explore moving Jacobs even in a shallower league because a lot of teams are going to have running backs comparable, but this isn't what I'm looking for in return. What I'd rather do is add to Jacobs to get a stronger receiver, add to Jacobs to get the right type first, a player that I don't really believe in their managerial skills, but I don't really want to split an asset in a league that's equivalent of 12 team start eight. So I think it's a more of a lesson on type of trade. I don't want to take here versus the actual value guys is Josh Jacobs uh, more valuable or less valuable quickly than the RB one in this upcoming rookie class, whoever that may be Shane less 
Scott. Less. All right. You heard our expert sound off. Now you sound off. Let us know about any Josh Jacobs trades that have happened in your leagues.